John, talk to me about your company. Our, my company, hrlocker.com, is a service for the owners of small to medium-sized businesses, uh, especially in Ireland, to help them to comply with employment law in a very, very practical way. Most entrepreneurs and most owner-managers are focusing on the key things for their business, which is sales, finance, and building the team. And that's where their focus should be, I totally agree. But there's a raft of employment legislation that's come out over the last, you know, the last 10 or 15 years, which forces them to, to look after a number of key areas in, in the HR domain. So I wanted to build an application that took that pain away. For example, uh, companies need policies and procedures that have a grievance policy and that has a disciplinary policy that has dignity in the workplace, defines the type of leave the company offers. These are all things that are boilerplate. Every company needs the same thing. 70% uh, of SMEs don't have these policies and procedures in place because it takes up an awful lot of the owner's time and attention to get them right and it's going to cost him probably around €2,000 to get a solicitor to actually craft the policies and procedures for his company. But the policies, the basic statutory policies are all the same. So we went to a leading provider of these policies and procedures called Graphite HRM. Uh, they're providing us the statutory minimum policies. We put them on hrlocker.com. Uh, the owner of an SME in Ireland goes onto our website. Uh, they buy the policies and procedures at a very, very low cost, about one-fifth of what they usually pay. That creates a customised uh, policy and procedure document or staff handbook for them. All of their staff get an email and the staff log in and they read the document online. They then confirm they've read the document, they understand it and that they agree to abide by it. So there's an electronic signature provided by the employee and there's a verifiable audit trail that they have actually signed it. So the whole problem of policies and procedures for the SME is solved very, very easily by the service that we provide. Give me a size of the sort of the exposure, the sense of the size of the exposure an SME has by not complying to those rules and regulations. There's a number of ways to quantify the, the exposure. One is in terms of the number of employees that are or employers that are brought to the Employment Appeals Tribunal. Generally, the employee will be viewed favourably in, in, in proceedings, um, especially if a company hasn't put policies and procedures in place, because a company has the ability to put them in place. And if they didn't do so, they chose not to. And that's immediately putting the employer in the back heel and giving them huge legal exposure. Give me a figure. Typically, if, typically uh, you know, for, for a junior employee taking a case against an employer, if he hasn't been with the company for more than two years, he typically will get a handout of you know, seven and a half grand would be, yeah. be kind of the going rate. Um, but it's actually much bigger than that because it has a huge drain on the time of the owner-manager. And he's or she is thinking for weeks and weeks about what's going to happen in the case and should he pay off the employee now. That has a knock-on effect of the rest of the staff where there's, you know, there's a high visibility case. Everyone knows what's going on because that kind of thing becomes quite public within a company. You can't hide the fact it's happening. Um, so it's a huge drain on, on resources. I think the cost element is actually the least of the worries. And it's only once an issue like that comes up that all the other issues are exposed. So say, for example, an employee is bringing his employer to court for... Um, a, a breach of the disciplinary policy at that point usually all the other shortfalls will also come out like where are the timesheets did the company keep timesheets if not why didn't it it had the choice to do so it didn't do so so everything kind of tends to come out once one of them come out